One important moment to most brides and grooms is their first dance and the sequence of first dances that are going to happen at their reception. So it's important to pick that music carefully and to plan for that portion of your night. So how do you pick your first dance song? Well, first consider songs that are meaningful to the two of you. A song you played on your first date or the first time you went dancing or the song that was playing when he proposed or just a song you hear on the radio and sing along to and really love. It can be romantic, it can be upbeat, whatever suits your personality. But something really important also to take into account is your dancing. Some couples take ballroom dancing lessons, some couples are naturally good dancers, and some of us just like to get out and do the romantic slow dance thing. But you wanna be sure that the music complements the style of dancing that you'll be doing during your first dance. If you prefer rap music, but you think you wanna slow dance, you might pick a soft country or pop song for your first dance music. Next, you need to pick music to do the other first dances with. Traditionally, the bride dances with her father and the groom dances with his mother. But maybe that's not right for your family. Maybe you need to dance with your uncle or your stepfather. Maybe he prefers to dance with an aunt that was really special to him growing up. You wanna pick songs that they would like and that reflect your relationship with that person. There's a lot of really meaningful, emotional songs about growing up, about remembering the years, and just listen to a few songs and find something that suits your personality and again, your dancing style. Your mom or dad might be great ballroom dancers and you might wanna pick a tango or a waltz, or maybe they just wanna slow dance with you and a pop or country song might be best for that. And don't limit yourself to a single song. Some brides and grooms start with a slow romantic song and mash up to a little bit more uh, energetic, upbeat song. So don't constrain yourself. Do what's really right for your personality and what you feel like doing. Some brides and grooms have an entire song for each, the father-daughter dance and the mother-son dance. Some prefer to have both of those dances at the same time or just to have a shortened song for each one. And what do you wanna do after those dances? Do you wanna have a bridal party dance where you have the whole bridal party come up and join you for a dance? Or do you wanna ask other members of your immediate family to come up and dance with you, to give you a chance to dance with that favorite uncle or your brother or whoever would be meaningful to you? Or some couples start right at that point with a snowball dance and everybody grabs a partner from the audience and pretty soon you've got the whole party engaged and dancing and have a good time. So just think through your options and decide what's going to be meaningful to you and what's going to be special to you and your families as you go through that portion of your evening.